If you hear the name Chuck Wagon Theater, does it ring a bell? How about Sourdough the Singing Biscuit? You can butter me up, butter me up, but don't get me in a jam. <laughs> or Tumbleweed the Dog. Or should I ask, where were you as a child? From 1970 to 1989, Cowboy Bob, a.k.a. Bob Glaze, entertained young Hoosiers on WTTV. So, who is Cowboy Bob? In 1942, Bob was born and raised in true cowboy country, Guyman, Oklahoma. But in 1955, he moved to Indiana to attend Culver Military Academy. From there, he went on to attend Indiana University. It was during the 60s, long before Cowboy Bob, that Glaze enjoyed a musical career. He dropped out of IU for a year and a half and went to WBBM, a CBS affiliate in Chicago. While there, Bob worked on the last of the live radio music shows, Mal Belair's Music Wagon. On weekends, Bob toured as a warm-up to names like Connie Stevens, Hoyt Axton, Harry Belafonte, and the Chad Mitchell Trio, playing his guitar and singing his way around the country. He fell in love with broadcasting through TV shows promoting his appearances. Bob returned to IU and then joined the ranks of WTTV in Bloomington. In 1968, he moved to the Indianapolis station where he worked as show director and occasional musical companion to Jane Hodge of Popeye and Janie fame. On their 1968 Christmas album, he was simply Bob. Hey, you don't become Cowboy Bob overnight. In the late 60s, legendary Friday night ghoul Sammy Terry got part of his scary appearance from a scoop light held by Glaze wallowing on the cold studio floor. Glaze went on to direct the show and become a huge Bob Carter fan. Eventually, Don Tillman of WTTV offered Bob, the musician from Oklahoma, a show of his own. But Glaze needed a character. I don't do clowns. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Since he was from the Sooner State, why not a cowboy? So on January 7th, 1970, Cowboy Bob and his Chuck Wagon Theater was born. The hitching post is waiting around the bend. Accompanying Bob were his horses, his always unseen cook, Cookie, voiced by Glaze, and his singing biscuit. Bob also introduced viewers to a dog named Tumbleweed. Bob taught Tumbleweed the stop, drop, and roll fire safety maneuver used in a famous public service spot. To this day, many children and adults claim those messages saved their lives during real fire incidents. But Bob's fondest memory of WTTV is meeting a beautiful film editor named Gail Butterfield. Bob and Gail have been happily married since 1976 after he proposed to her while scuba diving in Mexico. They enjoy their Morgan County Ranch home, sailing, windsurfing, and scuba diving. Avid animal lovers, they support local and national animal shelters, plus one on the Caribbean Dutch island of Bonaire, their favorite vacation spot. After 23 years on WTTV and three years on cable, Cowboy Bob continues with public appearances and song recordings from his career. Finally, as Cowboy Bob always says, don't forget to take your nap, keep smiling, and remember, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all.